Amdocs is a leader in providing software and services to some key industries like telecommunications, media, and financial services. In our next session, we welcome Cedric Jegu, who's the head of technical product at Amdocs. And we'll learn about Amdocs modernization journey and how it added value for their end customers. Cedric, welcome. Welcome, how are you? Good, thank you. So describe your modern application, your portfolio, and you know, what you're delivering for, for customers. So Hamdocs is a BSS OSS uh, player. So we are providing a, a full digital suite for our customers. Uh, our customers are uh, communication service providers, which are, have to uh, deploy a full digital suite, to customer experience. Um, where uh, for the full OS BSS OSS stack, so uh, actually Amdocs is uh, one of the leader in this uh, kind of digital transformations. Yeah, so of course you talk about OSS and, and, and BSS. I mean, you're talking about some really hardened uh, stacks, right? Uh, the telco industry. Uh, say what you want about it, but boy, the phone works <laughs> when you dial it. So, so you got sort of a decades old you know, platform that you guys have been evolving over the, over the years. Describe this modernization journey and, and the role that, that Couchbase played. You know, what value does this offer, this modernization offer to your organization and where does Couchbase fit? Yeah, exactly. It's the exact same so that. So basically, what uh, is uh, our solution is, you know, it's a portfolio of uh, a large number of components which have to deal with uh, from the uh, the, the experience of the user and from uh, and then uh, dealing all the uh, the activation of the services in the network in order to deliver a solution a, a pure service like mobile services or communication services to uh, to the end users. So um, we have a full suite which uh, uh, was previously based on you know on te technologies based on Oracle with WebLogic and, uh, and things like that. And what we did is that we do a modernization of, uh, of this something like six years ago, a bit more than six years ago. We start the modernization and the uh, uh, transformation of our product into a cloud native solution, cloud native solution. So, uh, and when we did that, we start with Coachbase as a partner uh, to provide the, the, the cloud native uh, database. So uh, we are actually delivering, we have an R&D of more than 8,000 people developing this product. It's a product which is used by more than 300 customers. Uh, so so it's, it's really a product that needs to be very flexible and needs to address many kind of use cases from our, our telco, our customers, which are CSPs, usually tier zero, tier one telco. So we, what we wanted to build is a full cloud native solution that can work on any cloud then can um, uh, can scale very uh, uh, very easily, and uh, can address multiple use cases. Okay, and that's why Coachbase. When we selected Coachbase, it it matched a lot of requirements and criteria we had. And uh, when we decided to uh, to modernize our product, we decided to work with Coachbase. Yeah, so you had a lot of experience and and legacy with Oracle and WebLogic. I'm I'm curious just of a follow up. Why didn't you stay with Oracle? You mentioned. Got to run on any cloud. Got to be flexible. But could you could you double click on what Couchbase delivered from a requirement standpoint that was such a good fit? Well, the the, the good fit with the technology such as uh, uh, Couchbase is first it's a NoSQL database, right? So it's in terms of performance for some of the use cases that we have. It's very important to have uh, you know technology which are hardened and optimized for the NoSQL use cases. So that's the first thing. The second thing, as I mentioned, the scalability. The fact that you can uh, almost uh, infinitely you can increase the size of your cluster. Uh, you can add more uh, 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 servers, and, uh, and 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 this will scale uh, you know uh, very rapidly. And also what we're very interesting to have from Coachbase is the ability to have something which can be replicated across multiple sites. So uh, with the XDCR technology from Coachbase, which enable to build, you know, very uh, modern architecture with a deployment on multiple regions to have a disaster recovery, uh, active, active sites, you know, things like that, which are very becoming like uh, the main requirement for more customers now. 
Okay, so I'm presuming there were there were parts of your application portfolio that you 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 weren't going to touch and throw away, but you had to collect or connect the the new with the old. That's always you know you know a challenge. I'm wondering what advice you'd give to an organization that's kind of investing in a similar path, trying to deliver the best digital experiences to to customers. You know, what what would you say are the modernization you got to have, must haves? whether it's architecture, you know, internal culture, what, what are some of those items? So, so Dave, yes, you're right. I think the integration with the legacy systems is actually, you know, a very, very important uh, topic uh, in, in our domain, in the telco domain. But we, we made a very, uh, I would say, drastic choice or brave choice, choice when uh, in uh, six years from now, when we decided to reformat, to replatform, sorry, completely our, our portfolio. Okay, so we, we change more than 95% of our portfolio and 95% of our portfolio today are cloud native, which means that they can be deployed on any cloud, that actually they are, are, are fully scalable and, um, and, and still we did this transformation. Now when we do the digital transformation of, the, of our telco, uh, of the our customer system, then we need to integrate with uh, legacy systems and we need to help our customers to migrate from their legacy systems to cloud native uh, solutions. And uh, doing so, it's, it, it's important to have in the database domain, it's very important to have a solution which is very flexible in terms of uh, uh, what kind of data I can manage. And uh, I can, um, uh, as I said, scale easily for sure, but also it's secure, okay? Because when you are moving the data from a legacy system, uh, Oracle based or whatever, to uh, another type of uh, of database, you want to be sure that you are you can do it securely and you you are not uh, compromising in any sense uh, in terms of security, scalability, uh, uh, etc. Right. So so um, in in this case, I mean, I will say in 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 this approach, in this journey, uh, Coachbase was very very. Uh, a very very important uh, component in our, our, our in our in our strategy for all the reasons I mentioned, right? It's very cloud native, it's scalable, it's secure, uh, it's an add-on product, uh, telco grade. So uh, so that's that's why it really is uh, the, the the key aspect here. You know this notion that ninety per you really replatform re ninety percent of your portfolio and made it cloud native. That's that's a, is a brave move because a lot of companies do that I that I've talked to they'll build an abstraction layer in microservices and make that piece cloud native and then have that kind of overlay. Uh, uh, you decided not to do that. Is, is why is that? Was that for performance reasons? You were worried about you just bringing along technical debt. I mean that really must have been an interesting discussion internally in your company. Yeah, Dave, it's, it's true. I mean, the main motivation, the main driver was business flexibility. Because now we, are, we live in a world where our customers, what they need is to be able to test a new feature quickly. And they need to be able to, 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 to scale their system in a matter of uh, hours, okay? Uh, so we are not in a, in a domain anymore where you, you, when you have to upgrade something, it needs to take a few days. It needs to be done in a, in a very, very quickly. And the, the only way to achieve those uh, requirements, these business requirements, is to be cloud native. It's to build microservices and to really rely 100% of uh, microservices architectures. Because this is the only way you will have the business flexibility. You will be able to have a resilient architecture. Uh, you know, you can, uh, uh, you, you can deploy this with a full high availability across multiple zones, multiple regions and things like that. So uh, any modern architecture today that, that is competing with us are actually a, ba a microservices based architecture. There is no other way to achieve, the, to, to, to meet the requirement of the market today. And especially when 5G is coming, things will become much more complex, will become much more uh, 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 distributed, uh, you, you cannot work anymore with a monolith architecture. And again, having the database is, is no way different. It needs to follow the same kind of architecture, it needs to follow the same principles. So that's, that, that, that's why, I mean, uh, 
And another, another point about, uh, about code rate, right? Yeah, so if I, if I had to summarize, it sounds like your top three requirements would be flexibility, which you're getting from the cloud native and microservices piece, the scale and the security. Is that right? Did I get that right, the three top requirements? That's correct, that's right. And the resiliency as well. I mean, the fact that now, you know, with microservices architecture, if one of the system is down, he knows how to self, to, to restart it himself, right? Itself, sorry. So, so that's this kind of architecture that we built. It's an architecture which can be resilient in the sense that it can sense itself and it can ensure uh, full availability. And if something is going down or is, is, is not working properly, then all uh, so, sort of kind of mechanisms will happen in order to, to go back to a, a stable state. Yeah, so you've got that automation in there, so you don't doesn't require the labor that it might have you know, 10 years ago. So you're, you're obviously embracing cloud native, microservices, so you're on that journey. I'm curious, what are you doing with that? You, you're, free, you're freeing up, you know, guys used to you know, bring in lab coats and dig in and figure out what's wrong or restart the system. Where are you in your journey and how are you sort of reallocating those resources and, and where do you see that going? Yeah, okay, so, so that's, that's a very good point because actually we, when we build this new system, which is enabled to, to, you know, to self heal, heal himself, right? Uh, actually, the question was more about how we can improve the system even more. How we can be sure that uh, uh, you know issues that we, we any issues which are we are facing will not happen again, will not occur again. Okay, and this is a SRE uh, pr principle, okay, practice that we have now. People are working on automation. They are building uh, automation around all these uh, recovery procedures, or uh, about. Uh, uh, fixing, so they are not actually digging into this, uh, the application now anymore, into the system. They learn how the system is, is working and building the, all the right automation task to ensure that the system is consistently uh, resilient, right? So that's the SRE practices. Our organization is now built around, uh, you know, this kind of, this, this approach, DevOps, pure, pure DevOps. Uh, being fully agile, obviously, having a SRE organization or SRE oriented organization. And, uh, and that's the only way, uh, you know, you can reach very high, uh, high uh, SLA in terms of av availability. So the big problem that your traditional telco customers have is the, the amount of data that they're, they're servicing going through the roof and the cost per bit is sinking like that. And you have all the over the top providers coming in creating these customer experiences with modern applications and they've owned the customer data. You mentioned 5G, so I'm interested what the future of modern apps looks like for Amdocs and your customers because 5G gives your traditional telco customers the ability, if, you, if, if they can have these flexible systems that you're providing, to now have better mm -hmm. relationships with customers and actually kind of reclaim you know, some of that, uh, that value that they've lost to a lot of competitors. Your thoughts on the future? So first, you know, technically speaking, we, we, we will have two challenges. One is about data, another one is about distribution of the workload, okay? Because when we are speaking about 5G, we are speaking about the age, we are speaking about the fact that an application may be allocated very closely to the network because it needs to be, to, 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 to achieve, uh, you know, to, to deliver very, uh, short latency, and uh, oh, and and this application can move. Okay, so you 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 will have to be able to distribute completely your your solutions. Okay, and that's why we are working closely with uh, the the cloud providers, AWS, Azure, or Google, and uh, because we, we we need to be sure that the applications or the systems that we are building will be able to distribute the application as close as, as possible to the end user. Okay, so that's that's one of the key challenges, which means that the application needs to be very portable, needs to be very scalable, and then it needs to be able to move very quickly from one place to another. That's really what is what will what is happening now and what will become the norm with 5G. The other challenge is uh, uh, behind the communication of all these components is the release of data because now we will uh, capture more and more data coming from the different systems. And I'm not speaking only about the, the, cons, cons, uh, the customer data, uh, who they are, what, what, they, are, what they, 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 they like, and what they want to do, et cetera. I'm speaking also about uh, the, the monitoring data of the systems, okay? So we will generate a lot of information, and this, this, this information 
needs to be uh, treated very quickly, it needs to be stored in very large data lake, and we will need to have extraction and manipulation of the data very very quickly to 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 give the right information to the applications. Um, in this case, okay, it's very important to have application to have databases that can, as I said, scale uh, very quickly, but also will be able to have very uh, high density node. You know, sense that they, it, it, with a certain amount of memory or certain amount of storage, you can store a lot of data. And this is where uh, we are always, you know, checking what is the best technologies. And so far, you know, Coachbase is a technology that we are using for, for stocking, uh, storing all the, those data. Um, uh, because because it's, it's the, the, the ratio in terms of uh, performance and the number of data you can store uh, is very high. Okay, so that's that's uh, another challenge that we are addressing. Of course, Coachbase is, is, is not the only solution, but it's another, another one. Excellent, okay, we, we're going to leave it there, Cedric. Thanks so much, a great story and really appreciate your insights. You're welcome, Dave, thank you very much. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the Application Modernization Summit made possible by Couchbase. We shared some fresh survey data and got the perspectives of three expert analysts we got an outstanding roadmap from Ravi Mayaram, who is the CTO of Couchbase. And of course, we got the customer angle from Cedric. So look, maybe you're an organization going through a modernization initiative. And if you're thinking about what the future of applications looks like, check out Couchbase on the road this summer, the Application Modernization Summit, it's hitting the road, traversing North America and Europe. Find out where they'll be, where they'll be near you, by visiting couchbase.com slash roadshow. Ravi is going to be there along with other thought leaders and peers who will be sharing learnings and best practices on how to modernize now and for the future. And you'll get a chance to interact with some of those peers, something that everyone I know is looking forward to. This is Dave Vellante. Thanks for joining us today and thanks for watching theCUBE.